What's up Jamals, this is Aaron from ATL Sub Ohm Crew and today I have a mod that um, I've been waiting for for not, not too long. 100% um, custom built, um, a lot of people have been hyped up about it lately. Uh, it's not just another C-frame, um, it's very small, almost the size of a Melody if you're familiar with that mod. Um, but basically, um, if you're familiar with Kudzu Mods, the guy who uh, made the Kudzu Cole, shout out to Cole. Um, it's his other project that he's making. You should be seeing uh, more in the wild on Facebook or Instagram here shortly. So um, basically, you can send him a block of wood or pick a block of wood. You have to be on his Facebook group, which I believe is a secret group. Um, but yeah, you guys all know about that or else you wouldn't be watching my channel. So let me just get to the mod and uh, show you guys what it looks like and what it comes with. So comes in this box right here, it's a pretty plain box. Upon opening it, you are presented with a piece of foam. Take that foam off and here is your mod right there. Um, it comes with a Melody Machi right there. And then here is the mod. Now, what makes my mod different from anything that Cole has done yet is, um, as you can see, the faceplate, if I can get it in that light, is Mokume or Mokum or however you would like to pronounce it, which is folded metal to create that kind of wood grain look. Um, I asked for a gold tube in the back, and that's what that's the beauty of the Minx, which is what this mod is called. Um, it's whatever you want it to be. Uh, he's got an option for different color tubes. I believe I've seen black, um, gold, and, and the way that he does it is there's not going to be any chipping or anything from it coming off. So that's what he's to told me. Um, and then you also have the option to have a custom faceplate. Uh, I've seen everything from, I believe, titanium to anodized to blacked out to just stainless. And uh, another cool option is you have the choice of chip. So me personally, I got the SXJ V2 chip in here with the update. And he even custom made these Mokume buttons right here. Which, if you look on my Instagram, which is just ATL Sub Ohm Crew, you can really see the grain of the buttons. Now, this faceplate will patina, but the patina is going to make it look better because the grains are going to come out thicker. Um, spring-loaded 510, right? And the craftsmanship on this mod is phenomenal. Um, <clears throat> I have worked with a lot of modders, and what I can say is Cole is probably the best modder I think I have dealt with personally. Um, he was really a perfectionist. Um, there was a couple times where the mod was supposed to be shipped out and he was like, wait, 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 you know, let's change this, let's do this. And it's, I didn't get mad at all for, for waiting. It was just the fact that he wanted to make it perfect. Um, even at one time, this faceplate was polished, but the tube is brushed. So that kind of bugged Cole and uh, he did a brush finish on the faceplate, which in my opinion looks phenomenal. Um, this is a new style button. Uh, usually most mods use Mitex. This one is not recessed, it's the opposite, so it comes out a little bit and it feels really good in that hump right there. Now just to show you a size comparison of this mod, here's a kitchen. And if you guys are familiar with the kitchen of how small they are, I mean, really there's photos of uh, melodies being compared with the Minx and they're almost the same size. It, it's insane. Um, especially if you're familiar with the SX chip, it's, it's big, you know. So to fit that in there and to get everything so compact, it's phenomenal. Um, I have owned a Geppetto, I've owned, you know, Champ GT, Zero Extremes, and I can tell you from the day that I've been using this, the comfort is amazing. And look how small that guy is. I mean, definitely a stealth vape. I like the new style button. Oh, and that's another thing. You have um, the option for whatever button you like. If you like my text, get a my tech. If you want a black button, get a black button. Shit, you can get a black my tech. I mean, you know, it's it's whatever you want it to be. That's the phenomenal thing. So I'm basically gonna go from the top to the bottom. So spring loaded 510. 
new style button, and uh, I'm sure somebody out there knows who makes that button, but I'm not familiar with who makes that button. Mokume faceplate, SXJ V2 chip, custom up and down buttons, um, and then I believe Cole makes them makes these himself. This battery cap is awesome. The threads are nice, and you don't need any tools like a coin or anything. You just literally put your two fingers in there, and it fits in there good. Single 18650, and it's got that cutout for the exposed tube, like a jet, but it's fatter. It's a phenomenal mod, so let's go up here, and I'm going to take a couple vapes off it. So here I got my M Addy. Uh, shout out to Matt, uh, MEB Mods, with my uh, black AFC and Old Tam Integral Tip throw this on here and what I like about this Melody Machi is it just fits right into that recessed area right there and literally perfect fit I haven't had any issues with this 510 yet um, the tolerance seems nice everything seems really fit and flush with it <clears throat> so right now I'm vaping at 39 watts with like a 0.6 ohm build 26 gauge um, Feels really good in the hand. Now, what I like about this mod is if you're a finger fire person like I am, it's comfortable, but also if you're a thumb fire person, that tube, you know, you get your pinky in that nook and it's really comfortable for thumb fire as well. I swap it around you know, from finger fire to thumb fire, just depending on how I'm feeling. Overall, and if you've, you know, caught up with my YouTube channel or watched any of my other videos, you know, um, I've dealt with a lot of different mods. Um, this is by far got to be one of my favorite mods of all time right now. It's just, you know, I used to really be in the 26650s, but then as my vaping evolved, you know, out of the majority of the time, I vape with a one ohm build. You know, 26 gauge, 7 wrap, and that's what I vape off on my Pico right here. But I just had to chuck the M Addy on here just because it looks sexy. I mean, M Addy looks sexy on anything. Um, starting price for these mods, I believe, is $800. And then um, as you add custom, you know, things like different colored face plates, um, different color tubes, the price kind of goes up from there. Now, I know you guys may think, oh, that's really expensive, that's insane, why would anybody do that? Well, I can assure you, when you purchase this mod, you basically, from what Cole's been telling me, is he will work on it on any time if anything messes up. If there's any flaws that bug you, if there's anything that, that you just dislike about it, send it to him, he is more than happy to fix it or change it. Like I said earlier, he's been one of the best people I have dealt with in this industry for mods in a long time. But yeah, guys, so that is the Minx from Kudzu Mods. And uh, check it out. If you like my video, please like and subscribe. Um, also, check out Instagram, ATL Sub Ohm Crew with the K. And uh, that's it. Appreciate you guys watching, and you guys have a good day. Perish.